Hi guys, I'm back for another round of hair product reviews. You guys know I love good hair tools that actually work extremely well. And today I'll be testing out two curling wands, the GHD Curve Curling Wand and the T3 Single Pass Tapered Ceramic Styling Wand. That is the longest title. But anyway, I just found out about these curling wands recently, but they've been out for a while. And since I replaced my straightener not too long ago, I thought I might as well replace my curling iron too. And this one I've had for almost five years now. Nothing impressive, but it works. And it's definitely time for me to move on to a better one. Okay, so also a little disclaimer, this video is not sponsored. Everything I will dispense is my honest opinion and based on my own personal experience. I've had these two for almost three weeks, so I've gotten to know them quite well. I'll be giving you guys a rundown on the specs, design, warranty, and performance. So let's cut to the chase and start. They're both comparably priced. The T3 Styling Wand retails for $200, while the JHD Curve is priced at $250 Canadian dollars. The $50 difference is not a lot, but the T3 still gets a point for being less expensive. Diving into the specs and design, let's start with the T3 Styling Wand. The T3 comes in a white, glossy finish that feels very plastic. It says ceramic, but it feels plastic all around. Tapping on the wand, the barrel sounds solid, but when tapping around the handle, it feels very hollow. It's nice that it has five heat settings that go from 260 to 410 degrees Fahrenheit. It doesn't have the traditional buttons in place and instead has a smart twist dial. All you have to do is click once to the right to turn it on, rotate again to increase the heat and so on. The light will stop blinking when it has reached the desired heat setting. It takes about one and a half minutes to heat up to the highest heat setting. And to turn it off, just hold for two seconds. It's nice to see a different approach to adjusting the settings, but what I don't like is that the whole knob itself feels kind of loose. I'd like it to be a bit more resistant so that the whole wand would feel and look more solid. The good thing about this design though is that you won't be accidentally turning it off when using it as the settings are tucked away far enough from the handle. I also don't like the T3 logo here as it can easily accumulate dirt over time. I'm also not a big fan of the tiny screws all around here that make the device look tacky. And lastly, this piece here set as a design feature is the most annoying. Every now and then my hair gets caught in it and I lose a few strands because of it. It's frustrating to say the least. On the other corner is a GHD curve and just like the T3, it also has a tapered wand that is thick at the base and reduces in thickness towards the end. Bear in mind the wand for the GHD is slightly thinner on both ends by a quarter inch so it will affect the size of the curls, but not by much. The GHD Curve comes in a matte black finish and has a sleek design. The whole wand is flushed and seamless all around. It's simple and no unnecessary pieces sticking out. Weight-wise, they weigh about the same with the GHD weighing slightly more, but that weight makes the GHD feel more premium and it feels like one solid piece. The grip on the handle feels comfortable and doesn't feel bulky in my hand. There's a thin line of rubber along the handle that makes sure it doesn't slip from my grasp. It has one button to turn on and it's set to a fixed temperature of 365 degrees Fahrenheit and it takes 25 seconds for the wand to be ready for use. To turn it off, just hold the power button for a couple seconds. I'm a fan of GHD's design but I don't like the placement of the power button because when I'm using it, I find that my thumb naturally slides into the spot and when I do press it, I do have to double check to see if the device is still turned on. I feel like the button could have been placed much lower instead perhaps around here where it's out of the way. I definitely like the design of the GHD better than the T3s, but aesthetics aside, let's look at how they perform. For this comparison, I'll be showcasing them side by side on how well they function. On the left side, I'll be using the GHD Curve and on the right side, I'll be using the T3. For a fair comparison, I'll be setting the T3 to 350 degrees Fahrenheit, which is close to GHD settings. I'll also be sectioning both sides of my hair in two parts so I can achieve a voluminous beach waved curl. And to see which one is better in terms of saving you time, I'll also be timing each and how fast they perform from start to finish. So here we go. Both the GHD and the T3 have long wires that are tangle free. In terms of the handle size, the T3 has a thicker handle but it's not uncomfortable by any means. The GHD on the other hand has a thinner handle profile that is easier to grip which ends up being easier to maneuver around my hair. The stand for the GHD looks unnoticeable while the stand for the T3 looks tacky. 
The rose gold accents look more like Hopper, but regardless, it doesn't look visually appealing. They both have a two-year warranty that cover their usual manufacturer defects, but not from personal damage cost. Just by the look and feel, the GHT has a more robust design that looks like it will last. What's good about both these products is the auto shut off feature when not being used. The T3 is set to turn off after one hour of inactivity, while the GHT turns off after 25 minutes of not being used. The GHD comes with a three finger glove, which I haven't seen anywhere else before, and is slightly funny in my opinion. The T3 meanwhile does have that normal five finger glove to keep your hands safe from the heat, so I'll probably be giving five stars to the T3 for safety, while the GHD will be getting three out of five stars, one star for each finger. With the T3, another nitpick I have is its unique design. You will definitely need to read the manual on how to use it to figure out what the LED lights are indicating. So out of the box, it's not user friendly, but once you know how, it's simple to use. Also take note on how to properly curl your hair. Take smaller sections when curling your hair to have optimal results. As well, having greasy hair also makes it more difficult for either wands to be effective. So keep that in mind. Okay, all done. It took me six minutes and 14 seconds to style my hair using the JC Curve, while the T3 Single Pass Curling Wand took me seven minutes and nine seconds. Both wands finished almost at the same time, so in terms of saving time, they're both on par with each other. The only reason why I was delayed on my T3 was because my hair kept getting stuck on the rose gold centerpiece. The GHD is easy to use and looking at the curls, my hair is looser but softer. However, the curls don't last that long if you take larger sections and if you do, the hair slides down to the tip of the wand. I have thick long hair so I find it harder to work with because it takes up a lot of my time just sectioning my hair to smaller pieces. I find that the GHD curve doesn't really give you those salon curls but rather it gives off that relaxed beach wave effect which is ideal for day to day use. I would also like to point out that the waves don't last long if you don't use some sort of protectant or styling spray. The T3 on the other hand gave a more defined voluminous curl and I find that the T3 curls are more suitable if you're going for a more formal look and the curls stay on the whole day. Also, I find that this wand is not suitable for any hair longer than my hair length because the barrel length won't suffice. Now time to do the wear test. I want to test how well or how long these curls last on their own. The time right now is 5.01 p.m. and I'll be right back later to see how these curls hold up. All right, I'll be right back. All right, ladies and gents, I'm back. Time check, it is now 10.57 on my clock. I am so ready to take this makeup off. So let's go ahead with the review. So um, this is my JHD side and as you can see, the curls are there, but it's not as crisp as when I first curled it. But on the other side, which is the T3 side, the curls are still there, but it's a little bit messy in the back. Okay, final thoughts. Both wands performed well, but the T3 had a better staying power without using any styling products afterwards. Whereas the GHD needed that extra boost of products to keep the curls in place throughout the day. Both curlers gave out two different waves for two different occasions. The GHD more for casual wear and while the T3 I would say is more for formal wear so I can't really pinpoint which one is better in that department. I do love the tussled waves from the T3 curling wand as well as the beach waves I can create with the GHD. It's hard to say which one is better because it really boils down to the type of waves or curls you want to achieve. If you want to go for relaxed waves then go for GHD but if you prefer to go for more structured waves then go for the T3. Alright guys that's it for this review. I hope that helped push you towards one or the other. If you if you have any other questions, let me know in the comments below. I'd love to hear from you as well if you have either one of these wands and have had different results. Also share the comments down below. I'd love to read it. And you already know, if you like this video and want to see more, hit that like button and to be updated in future videos, knock that subscribe button out of the park and set that notification bell to all. Love you guys so much. See you guys in the next video. Paalam po. Bye! You guys know I love ha good hair tools. I love, I love, again.